Alright Tubes, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of our Ford Ranger repair video series that uh, seems to have become a pretty regular thing. Uh, what we're going to be taking care of today is this rear uh, Ford emblem. Of course, in the last video I took care of the front one and I realized how big of a difference it actually made just to change out that emblem. So, I can't wait to get this back one done. So, let's see what we can do here. First things first, let me just show you guys. This is our uh, our new emblem that we're going to be installing. And I picked this up on Amazon. I actually got a set of them for when I was doing the front one as well. And they cost me about 15 bucks for the two of them. So, I'll put a link down to that in the description if you need to pick one of these up. We're also going to use some lacquer thinner and paper towels, a bodywork squeegee, plastic pry bar, some 120 grit sandpaper, and a heat gun. Next thing is obviously we're going to have to take the old decal off. And the way I understand that this is held on is, is with some kind of an adhesive. I'm not sure what type of adhesive, but whatever it is, there's something, some kind of glue holding this thing on. So what my plan is here is I got my new heat gun here, and what I'm going to try and do is use it to at least soften up the glue. It's about 45 degrees out today, so the glue is probably pretty hard right now and not really going to yield too much if I just start prying on it. Ideally, we can soften the glue enough that it's just going to come right off, but we'll, uh, we'll have to see what happens here. All right, so we're going to start trying to heat this thing up here. What we're going to do is try to heat it evenly. We don't want to get one part too hot too fast. We want the whole thing to come up to about the same temperature at the same time. And uh, once it gets kind of hot, I got this little tool here. And basically what this is, you can buy these online. I can, uh, I guess I can put a link in the description. But it's like a little plastic pry bar. You know, I want to try to avoid using a screwdriver on this or anything metal because I start prying with that. Uh, it's going to mess up my paint here, and I don't want to do that if I can avoid that. We don't have to touch something up uh, if we don't have to. Alright, we're getting pretty warm here. The whole thing's pretty hot, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start focusing my heat more on this side. I'm going to try and pry, pry the uh, left side of it off first. So I'm going to focus my heat around here a little bit, and uh, let's see what will happen here. Getting there. So here's our old decal here, and as you can see, actually, if our goal was to remove the glue from the decal, we did a very fine job. There's only a little bit stuck on the uh, on the corner here, but looks like all our glue is now still stuck on the truck. So what we're going to have to try and figure out now is uh, how do we get that off? Alright, so what I've been doing here to get this glue off is I got one of these squeegees like for doing body work. These things are like super cheap. So uh, I've just been heating up the glue with the heat gun and uh, you know, not getting it too hot. Not hot enough that it melts the squeegee, but just enough and uh, then kind of just using it to slowly roll back the glue. And it seems so far, it's actually working really good. All right, that worked good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. Uh, I pretty much got all of it. I mean, there's like, there's really not even like any spots of it left where you can like really feel it. There is like a little bit of residue, you know, and, and most of it just around the edge here. And I'm not even sure if that's actual adhesive residue. That might just be dirt. But either way, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a little bit of lacquer thinner just to, uh, just to clean all the dirt and grime off of here. And uh, you just got to keep in mind with lacquer thinner, you know, it depends on the paint. Uh, you, you can end up taking your paint off. I've used lacquer thinner on this truck before without any problems. Uh, I guess it's urethane, but uh, just be mindful of that. And I mean, you know, if you're careful, you know, you just stay inside where the adhesive is going to go anyway, and don't even go out where you'd have to worry about it. But uh, we're going to try and clean this up, and uh, you know, just get getting in dirt, grime, grease, anything else that's going to prevent it from sticking off of here. Alright, so this is looking pretty good here now. No traces of uh, adhesive left or dirt or grease or anything in here. 
And so what I'm going to do now, this is, uh, you know, you could, this is debatable, this step, whether it needs to be done or not. They didn't do it from the factory, but I think just to be on the safe side, I don't want to have to do this job twice. I'm going to try and rough this area up a little in, in here. And this step is obviously where you need to be a little bit more cautious. Definitely make sure you don't go outside because you don't want to have all these sand marks, you know, out around your decal. So what's nice is we do have this little ring here that I left uh, just as a guide, and that'll show us, uh, you know, we can color in between the lines here and should be okay. All right, that's looking pretty good there. You know, I mean, it's just scuffed up a little bit. We're not looking, we're not getting crazy here, but, you know, just enough, just a little extra, hopefully, to uh, give a little better uh, surface for uh, for the adhesive to bond to. So uh, now, as you saw, I, uh, I went ahead and I cleaned it up again with a little extra lacquer thinner. And so uh, at this point, I think we're ready for our new decal here. Peel our protective layer the rest of the way off. And you can't really mess this up because there's uh, three tabs for alignment. And obviously, you know, you're going to put the forward facing straight up and down. So this is a pretty foolproof uh, step right here. But we'll just stick this on. Try to get it straight. We'll just peel our protective layer off here and I think we're done. All right, so that is going to do it for this video. You had another job well done here and uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way this turned out. It was pretty straightforward. It was actually less difficult than I anticipated. Uh, given the fact that uh, it had the adhesive on there, I was a little worried about that, but having the heat gun made it super easy and, uh, you know, pretty effortless. So I think that's going to do it for this video. You guys know the drill. If you uh, found this video helpful, please do give me a thumbs up. That really helps a lot, seriously. And uh, if you have any questions that weren't answered, uh, be sure to leave them down in the comments, and I'll try and get to them quickly. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.